definitely are. Let's go. So you've met up, and you're ready for infiltration now. Yeah. Gotta go manhandle this guy. So can you do those sneak attacks yourself, what this guy's doing right here? Well, you can do melee, but you can't do any uh, in-depth takedowns. Go upstairs and for the DSM. So what is this this checkpoint right here? This is the fuel depot? No, no, we, we've already planted the explosives on the fuel depot. We okay. got to the crash satellite now. Okay. So he's going to start, you know, working on that while you go up and get some data. Gotcha. And I've seen the checkpoint system is still in play. We've seen multiple checkpoints pop up. Yeah. So, which is good to know because if it's uh, such an open level where you're allowed to do whatever you want, yeah. you might want to try out a few things that completely fail <laughs> and go back and try out something that so works. So is it auto save with the checkpoints or can you save throughout the game at any point or you got to wait till you go to the checkpoint? Yeah, I mean, we, we still use the, um, the checkpoint system. So, I mean, you can the save and quit system. out anytime you want, but you know, you're going to start yeah. back at your checkpoint. So there's the new AK. Like any, any weapons we're bringing back from Modern Warfare 1, uh -huh. we've completely redigged. We have detail mapping on the weapons now. Right. And you see that it has a, a red dot and a custom snow camo scheme. Yes. So all that that we had in multiplayer, the custom camo schemes and the attachment system, have been brought over into single player. Oh, excellent. Yeah, I can see there's a lot more detail on it. Yeah. Like you can see the little where you put the assault strap on is like <laughs> animated. Right. All these little details on the weapon that most people will never notice, but it adds a lot of immersion to it. In that previous section where you uh, blew the fuel depot to cause a distraction, I mean, you guys really pull the best parts from a lot of action movies. Are you guys <laughs> really action movie like junkies watching war movies constantly? I mean, we're, we're watching all kinds of movies constantly because yeah. you can get inspiration from anywhere, from like books you're reading or random movies you're seeing from any time period uh -huh. to just, uh, you know, reading stories of, of actual events that are going on. Can you hijack any of these vehicles or they're, you they're, may just be able to. Just yeah? <laughs> yeah. Let's watch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> A little late on that one. Of course. I was thinking the entire time I'd really love to jump into one of those jets, but Yeah. I kinda yeah. <laughs> We get another good look at the blood splatter and the animation of being shot, which is very cool. And I like the guys rolling down the hill as well. It's yeah. just that sort of like satisfying punctuation to taking somebody down, have them interact with the environment. So we, we've taken out about as many guys as we can on foot. And we're pulling in the big guns, sending out their air force. So Jess asked this with the ice climbing, but I'm going to ask because I know I'm going to do it. And I completely fail in this section, ram into a tree. Oh, myself. yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. So run in, you can run into a tree. And yeah. Hit. What about, like, jumping off the wrong side of a cliff? Yeah. Yeah, easily. That's all I was thinking during your demo, is that if I were running this demo, I would have completely hit a tree and exploded at this point. Yeah, yesterday I had the worst demo build playthrough I've ever had. <laughs> I was getting shot up, missiles hit me. <laughs> you guys make it look so easy. Yeah. Awesome. Aww. There we go. <laughs> and that's the end of the demo. Thanks for taking us through yeah. the longer version. That was really excellent. Yeah, thank you so much. All right, we're not even close to done yet. Stay tuned for more game demos and interviews straight from the E3 show floor only on IGN.